okay, today is a pretty sad day because they have removed so many of the working codes. So we're gonna have to check out which ones still work and as well check out all the new ones. As you guys can see as well, I did grow myself up to 40,000 gems almost. They have heavily nerfed the time chamber, by the way. You could first get like 12, 15,000 a day. Now, like, it's maybe like 7,000 a day. It's kind of crazy how hard it's been nerfed. It was needed, though, because you could get so many gems. So I'm still grinding more and more and more because I am ready for that next banner appearing inside the game. I will do a little bit of opening today because I was still want to see if I can get Sasuke because I still don't have him, but we have every single other one. So like I said, they have removed a ton of codes. So this is going to look very sad currently. So we're going to try one of the more recent ones and see if it's still working or if it's actually gone. This code has expired. No, they're gone, guys. So we only currently have four codes that are still working. So let's go ahead and use those right now. So we're going to first off start with code 800k likes. Then we have code 100m visits. And then we have the code 300k players. So those are all the ones that are older, but are still working. But all the other ones are gone, which is crazy. But we have one new code. But the bad thing about this one is I need to be level 10 to use it. So I need to do a little bit of grinding. So to get that going, it's going to be pretty simple. We're going to go ahead and make sure that our skip is on. We're going to get ourselves a few rolls. I want to go ahead and use 9,000 gems. So we're at 30,000. But let's go ahead and spend some summons real quick. Oh, there we go. We got Sasuke's second roll. I don't need to roll anymore. That's the last one we needed, guys. We've never had this unit yet. Sasuke is here. I'm sorry, Chan. You're going to be replaced for today by Sasuke because I need to see what he's all about. Oh, we got a soul legendary 10% damage bonus. Oh, okay. Ah, we're definitely keeping that. That is so, so sick. We got a legendary roll. Very, very awesome. Or mythic roll. I don't even know what tier it is, to be honest. That is super awesome. So, we need to get us a level 10, which is quite a bit of grinding, I think, actually. Um, and we got to get ourselves some more stuff. So, actually, Sasuke is pretty cheap. Not bad. Alright, so, we have legend stages, but apparently I need to be level 20 for these. And I did try them once, and yes, they're very hard. I at least need level 10, because I need one extra unit in my arsenal. So, I think we're just gonna go ahead and do the double dungeon, maybe? I actually don't know what the fastest XP is. Uh, but we'll just go ahead and do double dungeon. We'll do Act 5, because I don't really like the big boss at the end. And this one is pretty easy. Okay, I'm gonna put trust in Sasuke and we're gonna use Sasuke for the first time as the first unit. Normally, we start with Vegeta on this map, but we should be able to start with Sasuke this time and see if he can live up to his expectation. Okay, so he does one hit. He's not a good boy for the shield units, but he does okay damage. But you can see in his next level, he already gains like 200 damage. So that's just kind of crazy. Okay, we should have enough money. Let's go ahead and upgrade Sasuke. We got ourselves another ability first off right here. Which got the Chidori Lament. Okay, it's like a nice jump. And then we got the Onyx Chidori after that. Oh, okay, okay. Let's see if we just Sasuke so we can take on the game. I looked at the tier list real quick as well. It seems that Sasuke isn't that amazing. Um, so yeah, it is what it is. But you know it's looking pretty awesome, though. It's looking pretty awesome. And, yeah, you can see Max right here. These are going to be the stats. 1.3k, 6.8, 35.8, which is not too bad. Definitely will probably be enough to finish off this area. I don't think I will need anything else, but we should be good. Otherwise, we have some Vegeta's. Actually, we, we can put a third one in there. Let's just go ahead and upgrade and Boom, there we go. Uh, quickly get rid of R3. Spring Wagon, such a good unit. Absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead and sell them all, though. Boom, and max this out. Come on! It should be enough. Three Sasuke's versus the final wave of the game. Ooh, it's a little bit scary, though. A little bit scary, but at least you're going to take it on spare statue easily. Boom, there we go. Boom. Absolutely beautiful. And there we go. We're not getting that much XP, though. Like, our level 10 is going to take a while. Um, but there we go. We're going to have to do probably two more stages. Not too bad, though. Okay, but Sasuke doesn't seem that amazing, so I kind of want to swap him out, because in the tier list, it says that Song Jinwoo is going to be the best unit for the basic mythic. So I kind of want to go ahead and give him a go. Of course, we can evolve him when we get the materials, but we need to do those legend stages. 
And there we go. We got another laser solar thread. Beautiful. That's everything we needed. So we're going to go back straight into some grind. And I think it's time to do a infinite wave because I want to see how much XP we get from this. I think we're at the end of the road. Right now we're at like wave 12. We'll probably get wave 13 before we get defeated, I would say. And there we go. We failed. Did we get no XP at all? Okay, so I literally wasted all my time to get zero XP. So you have to win a stage to get XP. Wow. So that's actually kind of stupid. That Infinite does not give any XP at all. So... Uh, yeah, we'll just do this again, I guess. Okay, it's time for the final wave and the final boss. Because as you can see right here, we are missing like like 24 XP, which was kind of sad. But we should be level 10 after this one, which is amazing. So what we learned today is I only need four level 1 Vegetas. No upgrades at all to defeat this wave. I do not do infinite waves because it gives zero XP. And... It is very AFK, which is four units. And yeah, there we go. Not too bad. So we are now level 10, which means we can finally equip our fourth unit. And Chan, welcome back to the team because you need to be back on my team because I need a lot more units to defeat the infinite waves and all that kind of stuff, which is absolutely amazing, which is awesome to see that she's back in the team. And because we're level 10, we can finally use that new OP code. So let's go ahead and try it out right now. So if we go over to codes right here and use the code, thanks for 1M likes, which needs level 10. And it's going to hook you up with a thousand gems, a rainbow essence stone and 10 trade rerolls. Absolutely awesome. And that is what we like to see. So the only thing that I maybe want to do still is to actually want to re-roll this. Because Songjin with less speed seems pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Um, but let me know, of course, which one I should roll in a comment section down below. So I can do that in the next episode. But yeah, I am fully ready for the next update. We have 40,000 gems. I will AFK even more. I'm going to try to give myself 50,000. But I am super excited to go ahead and be ready for the next update. So we're finally level 10. We used all the codes, all the stuff. So if you guys did enjoy this video, if you guys did, hit the like button down below. Guys, subscribe if you want to see you guys later today or tomorrow for another video. So stay guys. Take care. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. And of course, as well, take care, guys.